evening. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm George Mallet. Melissa has the night off. The city of South Bend today became one of the first donors to the campaign to expand St. Margaret's House. The Redevelopment Commission pledging to contribute $750,000 to the planned expansion of the building that has housed St. Margaret's for some 35 years. Mark Peterson joins us live with the story. Mark. You know, St. Margaret's House was established specifically to provide day services for women and their children. The building they're in now technically doesn't even have a men's bathroom. If you're a woman in South Bend and you're homeless, it's a scary thing. But when you come through these doors downstairs, they say, come in, what do, what do you need? Do you need something? Oh, you know, a woman who's living in a garage by herself. She comes here and she's not the woman who lives in the garage. St. Margaret's House is a place where women and their children are encouraged to see beyond their current circumstances. Many of our guests are they spend their, their evenings or many of their days being shooed away from other places. And in this space, you are seen, you are welcomed. Um, we want you to know that you are valued. It's a place where women and their children can get food, can get clothes, where they can take a shower or take a nap. This is our art studio where we have the program. It's called Silk Creations. Or take in the training needed to become a master artist like Teresa Anderson. She's been coming here regularly since 2017. I don't have to be here. I choose to be here. I support the work and the mission of St. Margaret's House. Uh, there's no other place in the community like it. Yet a place that is so welcoming each weekday now closes at 3 each afternoon. The planned building expansion would allow for expanded operating hours as well, perhaps adding breakfast service in a dining room that's said to be too small. More space would also make more room for more program offerings and fit in with the philosophy here that the goal is not to get visitors to somehow uh, graduate or stop coming to the facility. Part of the beauty of the work at St. Margaret's House, um, you'll hear it often referred to as a ministry of accompaniment, a place where uh, people who, who sometimes are overlooked in society are welcomed. You are met with a smile and looked in the eye as opposed to cast aside. Still a lot more money to raise the total project price tag, seven and a half million. Again, the city redevelopment throwing, putting $750,000 to the cause. They hope they can raise enough funds in 12 to 14 months to start construction then. Thank you, Mark Peterson, for us live tonight. Well, farmers.